Greetings, my friends, once again in the name of the Triune God who is always with us. I am Debbie Bartley and honored to serve as one of First St. Charles Associate Pastors. And today is Monday, July 20, 2020. Now, I'd like to share that one of my favorite movies is The Greatest Showman. Have you seen it? It's a movie that provides ample examples of personality traits and behaviors that are not the best. There's arrogance and greed, prejudice, social economic injustice, racism, homophobia, violence, both individually and mob violence, bullying, discrimination, the list could go on. So that might prompt you to ask, with a list like that, why would a movie like that be one of my favorites? Well, it does have a happy ending, the music is great, and it provides me opportunity to look inside of myself and to name some of those same traits I just mentioned above. Now from the movie, my favorite song is entitled, This Is Me. It's about accepting ourselves for who we are, even and especially when we may not be what society concludes to be the norm. We are providing a link to that song with this devotional, and I hope that you will take a moment and watch it. Now, one of the small groups of our church is the Way Forward community, and we are a group of family, friends, and allies who advocate for the full inclusion of LGBTQ persons into not only the life of our church, but in all aspects of life in our world. Recently, the Way Forward community received recognition as a reconciling community of the Reconciling Ministries Network. The network seeks justice for all persons, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity within the United Methodist Church and within the world. And a link to that recognition of our group is also included with this devotion, and I hope you'll take a look at it. Now, I am a cis straight female. My pronouns are she, her, hers. And I am a friend, ally, and advocate of LGBTQ persons. Now this past June 20th was to have been the St. Charles Pride Parade a celebration of the LGBT community. However, it, along with many other things, was canceled due to the COVID-19. And the Way Forward community was planning to walk in support in the parade. Now, I just got to say, I have never, ever walked in a pride parade before. And can I just say that it was going to be a big step out of my comfort zone to do so. Yet I knew that if I didn't participate, I wouldn't be walking the talk. Does that make sense? I needed to put action behind my words. But as we talked about the parade, part of me wondered, what will people think of me if I am in the parade? Will people presume that because I'm walking in the parade, I must be gay? Well, I am now at a place where that wouldn't bother me because I know who I am and I would hope that people would accept me for who I am. So I mentioned earlier my favorite song from The Greatest Showman is This Is Me. I pray for the day when we can all be truly accepting of ourselves and of each other for who we are when people will not be afraid to come out and share their sexual orientation and gender identity for fear of rejection or being harmed, when homophobia ceases to need to be defined in the dictionary, when people can simply say, this is me, and be accepted for who they are, and that everyone will know that they are safe, welcome, and wanted. I pray for that day, my friends, with all my heart. And I pray that you will join me in that prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, we give you thanks for this day and for the many opportunities that will unfold during this day. 
We thank you for your presence with us. And we thank you that you love each one of us as we are, for who we are. That when we come to you, we can say, this is me. And we will know that you love us. I pray that all persons will know your love. I pray that all persons will be accepted for who they are. Dear God, help us to be your hands and feet. Help us to accept every person for who they are. And help us to share your love so that everyone will know truly that they are safe, welcome, and wanted. And we pray this in your precious son's name. Amen. So I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you take its heart, take its message to heart. And I hope you will click on the link about the Way Forward community, recognition as a reconciling group. And if you would like more information about the Way Forward small group, just send me a comment or contact me through the church's website. So my friends, let's continue to stay safe. Let's continue to connect with one another as we continue to connect with God. Let's see everyone as God sees everyone. And let's share God's love today, tomorrow, and every day. God bless.